Okay, this is an assignment that I assign my layout and design classes. And what it does is it, it uses graphic design, the new basics, and I combine two assignments, a color assignment and a uh, figure ground assignment. Now, some of my students need a little bit of... Um, of, of review as far as the software I'm using and how I'm accomplishing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm doing two movies. The first one's going to be the illustrator portion. The second one's going to be all about the Photoshop portion. Now, what I've done so far is I've taken and I've gone to and used my text tool and I have laid two characters on my artboard. My artboard is eight inches by eight inches. And I'm only using one artboard instead of four. I'm only going to use, uh, in this uh, instance, one, uh, one set of characters. Now, I know I asked you to do two set of characters, but I'm only going to use one set of characters. And I am going to save everything individually. I think for a beginner, it's going to be easier that way. Now, what I'm doing is, now that I've typed my characters, what I need to do is I need to go back to my selection tool and I need to select all. When I select all, what you're going to see is you're going to see these blue lines. These blue lines are my baselines. As long as I have those baselines and I can see them, I am going to go to type and I am going to go to create outlines. Now what I've done is I've gotten rid of the baselines. I've divorced the um, these characters from the um, file formats, the font formats that they were tied to, and now they are individual graphics. And that demonstrates itself because you can see the anchor points, you can see the lines. Now, you can see everything here as far as the uh, outlines or the paths and the anchor points. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one of my favorite tools, Pathfinder, and I'm going to use one of these selections. And what I really encourage you to do is to do a little bit of experimentation. But if you hold your mouse over any of these, what you're going to find is that it tells you exactly what it's going to do. I'm going to use divide. Divide will take and divide everything up into individual paths. Um, and even though I use divide, it may not be necessary, but I'm just going to double, double, make double sure. And I'm going to expand my paths. Expand. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my selection tool and deselect everything and then come back. And the way I deselect it is click on the artboard. And now any place that I have a crossover, I am going to delete that crossover. And I only have two of them here. You'll probably have more. But at this point, all I have is two. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. And I'm going to do a save as. And I'm going to call it BQ01. Because I've experimented. I have a couple more of them. I'm saving it to my most important spot on Earth is my desktop. It's sloppy. It's a messy way to do things, but that's the way I do it. I'm going to save them. I'm going to make sure it creates a PDF. And now I'm going to say OK. Now, what we can do at this point is I can go to my Photoshop file. And the way I'm going to get to my Photoshop file is I'm going to go to Command Tab. And that will take me to Photoshop. As I said, I have Photoshop open already. Now, I don't need to do anything else at this point because what I'm doing is I'm going to take, go to File, go to Open, and I'm going to look for that file that I named BQ1. There it is. Okay. And I'm going to say Open. And now it says that my Illustrator file only has one artboard, and that's fine. And you'll notice that it cropped my image for me. Now I'm going to say OK. And there it is. It's in my artboard. <clears throat> and we're almost good to go. 
What you see here is my layers palette. And what I want is, what I'm doing is I'm looking right through my artboard at the, um, at the background, which is a transparent background. That's why I'm getting all those check, that, all those check, I'm getting that checkerboard pattern. I'm going to say, um, new layer. And now I'm going to come over to my, to my toolbar again. And you'll notice that I'm hovering over what, two little color swatches and it says default foreground and background colors. The four default colors are always going to be black and white. So I've clicked there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this little toggle over to the side and I'm going to toggle so it'll create, it'll bring the white on top. And then what I want to do is I'm going to select all Command A. Now I have marching ants. And I am going to go to edit and fill and say OK. Now it looks like it disappeared, which it really, really didn't. I'm going to drag it down. So now you can see all my artwork. I'm going to go Command D to get rid of the marching ants. And then lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and uh, <clears throat> collapse my layers. And the way I'm going to do that is selecting these three little lines up in the, in the layers palette. Okay, right there they are. And unfortunately, you can't see what it says here, but you'll get a drop-down menu. And the fifth item from the top, I'm going to say flatten image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here and I'm going to wrap this movie and then we'll start right here with the next movie and I'll start showing you how to colorize it.